So we're starting a new segment called Shots of Truth. You take the shots and you have 30 seconds to be 100% honest about whatever comes to your mind. I'm Kristen in the segment first and after that we'll have special guests. So here we go. Old people will be like, oh, you don't know nothing. You think you know everything. You think you, I know everything about certain topics. I won't say I know everything, but compared to you, if I have to tell you how to open up Microsoft Word, motherfucker, I know more than you, okay? I'm just saying. Take care. Happy Saturday. I'm Cynthia Luciette. And I'm Jay Snow. So Kim Kardashian's full frontal ass naked glossed up photo shoot for Paper Magazine tried to hashtag break the internet over the week. Right, and a lot of people like Big Sean's ex Nye Rivera said things like, you're a mom. But let's be honest, Northwest has a lot more in store for her teen years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, your mom's so fat, she on both sides of the family. <laughs> that was a good one. Well, your mom is so ugly that she looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, North, you got one? Okay, okay. Your mama is so... <laughs> I'm Morgan Freeman. Who? M Morgan Freeman, I, I'm from the future. I'm still alive, my age is still unknown. But you may never say the words, yo mama, to anyone. Why? Take a look at the chronicles of Kimberly Kardashian. My mom? From something we used to call the internet. No, mom. Not his, not in your mouth. There it goes. Is that a champagne glass? Let it sink in. <laughs> it's okay, Northwest. It's okay. It's not okay. What she has done is unforgivable. Irreparable damage has been done to your life. This is why you may never tell anyone your mama so anything. You can never join in the dozens of your mama fight. Every time you say those words, they will revert to what your mother has done to penises. Sorry. I'm Morgan Freeman. This has been a message from the future. You must find your own way out here, because I don't really have the keys to the exits. No. I mean, you could have been Blue I, Ivy. I could have been. I could have been Blue Ivy. Truth is, I don't like when you ask a girl what's wrong and she say nothing. And clearly, her face is just like death. Like she's she's scarling. She's just snarling at you, just like, uh, uh, uh. babe, what's wrong? Nothing. Uh, uh. Something's wrong. In other news, I don't like men's no more. And if you don't know what she's referring to, there's a video that just went viral of this guy named Andrew Caldwell who just got saved from penis. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I'm just wondering, is he trying to convince us or himself that he don't like men's no more? He's trying to convince Jesus. <laughs> but he's still using too many S's when he say men's or women's. I'm not wearing dresses no more. Honestly, he just turned up for the church mic. Anytime the preacher hands somebody the church mic, they gotta go off. That's so true, you gotta have a preacher voice. But I bet you he was at home really composed with his speech like, I don't like men anymore. Turn my life over to God. He got handed that mic and it's like, women, 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 women. Can I get an amen, congregation? God is good, God is good. Amen all the time. Now, Brother Robinson, you go, that plate done been around three times now. You gonna need to break bread and play dead. Now, don't fuck with mine. God bless you. Come on now. Anybody got testimony? I wanna testify. Lord, have mercy, hallelujah. We got my young man wanna come on here and testify. Tell us how God has delivered you. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not carry a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will love a woman. Lord, give this brother more deliverance. Put some holy water or something on his ass. All right, guys, now it's time for Ask the Drop. Ebenezer Albee said, if you guys got the part of any future Marvel or DC comic hero, which one will you be? 
Um, I would probably want to be Rogue because I feel like in the comic book she kicked ass, and then in the movie she was kind of weak. So I would love to redo that character. Uh, I would totally be Rogue. It sucks that you picked the X Men. I was gonna pick Gambit, but um, <laughs> damn. You wanna be Gambit? Gambit is dope. I wanna be Gambit. This is the person who doesn't know who Gambit is speaking. I know who Gambit is. We don't need to hear your call or what you have to say. If I'm over here doing me and you over there doing you, but you talking about some, some yeah, girl, I got some chicken noodles at the house. I'm about to eat them up when I get home. Like, nobody fucking cares. Shut up. Make that an indoor conversation because you are, in fact, indoors. <laughs> And I'm Shock Town Corey. Hey! Welcome to the show, singer songwriter Alas. Thank you for having me. I love your little intro, super cute. One little intro. We didn't do a little intro. Okay. I mean, it's just music, and like music's our life, and it never stops, you know? So, Alas, uh, when did you first realize you wanted to do music? I realized I wanted to do music when I was a little girl. You know, I loved singing and dancing for my family, my friends. And, you know, as I grew up and I was watching my favorite superstars on TV, I always knew that this was something I was going to end up doing. That's interesting because, you know, I first knew I wanted to do music when I was in my mother's womb, which is why I titled my next mixtape, In My Mama's Womb. Get that. It's out there. Uh, um, congrats. Uh, your new single, Ordinary Girl, is now on iTunes. Mm -hmm. What do you like most about this song? I love that it's such a female empowerment song. I wrote the song about a guy I was seeing for a while, and I don't think any woman wants to be treated like an ordinary girl. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I love that it's like a bossy little anthem to some of the guys out there. Yeah, no, I love it so much. It really um, actually inspired my new single that I'm going to record later today and put out called Ordinary Girl Also. Um, I really, you know, I think right now we just need an anthem for women. Like, I want it to be bossy, and I feel like I dated this guy. That's original. Yeah, it's so original. That's and it's original. like, I feel inspired, and I think I'm going to do it. You guys are kind of weirding me out. Why? Because we have, we're super talented music artists, too, and you feel threatened by our presence? Maybe? Yeah, unless, like, come on. You're not the only person who makes good music, Similar you know? I, I, I never said that. In my mama's womb. It's out there. Yes, and make sure you guys check out my new single, which I will be releasing called Ordinary Girl Also. It's gonna, you know, flood the streets. Originality. Yeah, and that's what it's about, and that's what the music industry's really missing. Oh, and make sure you guys, please, go check out Alus on alusofficial.com. Amazing music, amazing, talented artist. I would love to collaborate with you, really. I think that, like, we could harmonize. You I'm know. working on a new mixtape called Placenta. Can we collab on it? <laughs> Alright, so what do you guys think? Is it inappropriate for Kim Kardashian to do that just because she's a mom? Leave a comment below. And let us know what topics you'd like to hear on Shots of Truth by any special guest. So just put them in the comments below. Make sure you share this video. Subscribe to All Dev Digital. I'm Cindy Luciette. And I'm Jay Snow. See you next week on The Drop. But I just want to know, Morgan, who's Ray J? Well, Northwest, he in fact hit it first. Not like very first, because clearly she's had some experience. It's just a popular song. I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, I hit it first. <laughs>